is that and we're tied to nature. For those that don't get out, can't get out, or can never get enough. Uh, back to the owl survey. Uh, I don't even know what it is anymore. Day 11, I think. They made me day 12. Uh, you can see the sun is setting behind me. I'm at location six, uh, about to go in. And what I'm going to do tonight is actually just set up a recorder. Let it go through the night, pick it up tomorrow, and see if there's any sounds coming from this area where I last had this uh, boreal owl calling. Then I'll go up the road and kind of do the same thing uh, that I've done in the past. Just stop and listen, see if I hear anything. Uh, hasn't been real consistent as far as me because the weather has been nasty. Uh, yesterday we had like three inches of snow. It's mostly melted now, but it's a little breezy, which I'm kind of concerned about. This little wind, um, and it's cold out. You know, we had a cold front come in, but I'm gonna go put this out and just uh, hopefully it come up with something. Okay, I'm in here. Um, now it's just a matter of deciding where I'm going to set this up. We've got a tripod to put it on. And I just need to find a place. If one big thing is, you know, where's the owl going to be at? But also a place that's going to be protected from the wind. So I don't want just wind static on it all night. Looks like it's supposed to calm down tonight as far as the wind. But it doesn't take much for this, this microphone to, to pick it up. I just, every time I come in here, I just, I, I know I'm going to see it, you know. Awesome if I did. Well, anyways, get this thing set up. There's a couple pretty good sized trees right behind me. Might use them as a wind block. Well, I just did a quick walk around. There's a layer of fresh snow, you know, in quite a bit of this area. And I thought, you know, I might as well just check to see if there's any wing prints, any uh, uh, tracks from any type of rodent, just anything, just clues, I guess. Looking for clues. Um, let me I'm gonna go, come over here and show you my setup that I have for trying to record. I had it set up right next to a tree. That would be a, a good wind block. It's kind of nice, the ground is crusty, so I don't know if I mentioned that. No snowshoes, no skis. It's kind of a little bit of freedom walking around here. Be careful where you step, but most part is pretty good okay here we go so this is my setup it's a zoom h4n this is what I caught the recording on last time and I think it has the battery and the capacity for about uh, well, I don't know about the battery for sure I think it should be good SD card for 14 hours so, I'm going to get this thing turned on, leave it for the night. Hopefully the cold doesn't break it. I'm not very familiar with it. I haven't used it a whole lot. I'd like to eventually get an external microphone for it. I was talking to somebody or uh, chatting with him. As I saw, he was using one. And uh, he said, probably not the greatest in cold weather or moisture. Which is pretty cold out, but... Uh, I really want to hear what's going on here when I'm not around, so we'll see. Okay, so I have this bad habit of doing too many things at once. Sometimes it's good, like tonight. So I decided I'll just go down to the end of the road, I quit plowing, and look over this expanse for grizzly bears. You know, it's bear season. And actually for cougar tracks, because I had a cougar tracks there at the end of the road the other day in the mud. Anyways, I'm stopped. I'm watching. I'm always listening. Then I have an owl calling. So I'm going to walk out to it. The nice thing is it's not a typical hoot call like they're courting. Um, I guess it's a great horn. I'm not too familiar with this call. I'm just going to keep this running and see if I can hear it. It's just one call every once in a while. And it's more of a 
I would assume, nesting type of call, I guess, a begging or a, uh, maybe courting is the right word. You know, earlier, the word I should have used would have been um, territorial. So, I'll walk back and just see if I can hear it again. It's coming from this area. Okay, I followed it back to this point. And either it's moved or I got two calling. Because I had one right in front of me. And I think the calls that I was able to record, I don't think I was recording. So now the call is coming from further away that direction. Yeah. I'm just going to stand here for a second. And see if the call gets any closer. I actually still have some pretty good light that's going to go fast. So I might go just a little further. haven't heard it for a second. I just want to get a recording of the call. I don't need to see it. And that way I can look up the call, play some calls, and uh, get an ID confirmation of what it is. There's a possible nest over in the tree to the left. There's some tracks. Like coyote tracks. Yeah. Okay. Time to get out of here. I think I got that recorded on my phone or on the GoPro. Come back in another time and do a sit and wait and listen for those sounds. Meanwhile, I'll go find out what it was that was calling. Okay, uh, I think it's about 9.40. Just made my last stop um, on my regular route. So I just stopped at location one, got out and listened. So there, you know, nothing else since <clears throat> A squawk that I heard at location six or just beyond that. So nothing, get to location one, get out. And almost right off the bat, I got a saw wet calling. And it's just kind of nonstop calling. Followed by, I believe it was at least two boreal owls because it sounded like from different directions. It's hard to tell because that saw wet was loud enough that I couldn't get a pinpoint on the boreal owls. They were faint. Um... Great horned owl calling from two different locations and a great gray owl. So, you know, wind died down. Um, I think the next couple nights I might just go out a little later instead of going out as early as I have at dusk, try a little later and see if things change because that was great having four species from one area. And I got to double check. I, I just don't, I've seen a lot of long eared owls but I don't know the call well enough. There was one call, it was probably a great horn, but wasn't that typical who, 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 who that I, I hear. So I gotta, I gotta look that one up because if that was five species in one area, that's awesome. So that definitely changes things for me as far as makes me a little more excited. I was kind of getting bummed, not getting much. So I might try and stop one or place or two places on the way home. To, to listen off of my main route, but that was a great night.